Well, and welcome back to KTN News Desk. And now it's time for our business chat segment. And joining me on site is Parinaz Firozi, the CEO of Jumia Kenya. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And um, we have you today on set just to share with us more about the trends in online shopping. Yes. You run a very successful online platform. Just share with us what's Jumia all about. Sure. So it's uh, jumia.co.ke. It's an online retail shop. Yeah. So this is the largest shop that exists anywhere in Kenya. Mm -hmm. We have over 100,000 different items on the website. Mm -hmm. And um, what we do is we bring convenience to the customer. So whatever you want, whether it's shoes, clothing, a phone, a tablet, we have the best prices in the market. Mm -hmm. And you can go on jumia.co.ke and then pick what you want. And we'll come and deliver it to you wherever you are, whether yeah. you're at your home, your office, anywhere in Kenya, we'll figure out where you are and how to deliver it to you. You've been operating in Kenya for the last about 11 months. What would you say about um, the trend so far in terms of the uptake? Are we seeing guys buying things online? Sure. So um, I myself have been here for about 11 months. Uh, Jumia launched in Kenya two years ago. Yeah. Okay, so we just celebrated our two-year uh, anniversary. And what we've seen is the Kenyan market is very receptive to online shopping. First, we have a middle class. using the internet, mm -hmm. um, it's over 50% of the population okay, that have access to the internet. So all these different factors are the perfect concoction for an online website to actually take off. Uh -huh. At Jumia Kenya itself, we realized a 900% growth in the number of orders just last year. Interesting. Yes. So what's been fueling the growth? <laughs> so um, besides some of the macroeconomic conditions that we've talked about, I think the biggest um, factor is what we do to educate the public. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, what we do is we have a team of sales agents that are going out there yeah. and they're with their tablets and they're teaching you you know what is online shopping and how do you actually make that purchase secondly um, what we do is try to placate any of the concerns that a consumer might have yeah. so you're not sure if this is a scam is this actually going to get delivered or not mm -hmm. so what we do is we allow cash on delivery or on pesa on delivery or airtel money whatever it is so you don't actually have to pay for the product until you receive it if you like it then only do you pay uh -huh. So we're trying to you know, placate some of these concerns and then the macroeconomic situation is just fantastic, which is why Jimmy has been very successful uh -huh. in the last two years. And it seems that uh, the online marketplace is getting bigger, we're getting more players coming yes. into the market. Um, how do you plan to remain uh, competitive in terms of reaching out to the Kenyan market? So um, I think the first biggest advantage is that we had first mover advantage, right? So we were in the market first. We've understood what the consumer wants. We've adapted our value proposition to really give the consumer exactly what they're looking for, whether it's a variety of products. No one has as many, as many products as we do. Because we're moving higher volumes, we get better discounts. Mm -hmm. So we're negotiating very aggressively to have the most competitive prices, pricing on the entire, um, in the entire platform. And then lastly, what we're doing is we're recruiting more and more suppliers to come in and uh, place their items onto the website. So we have a marketplace, which is what you mentioned, where if you're an entrepreneur and you want to sell your products, yeah. what we recommend is you give us a call. Our number is on the website, our customer service number. We'll direct you to the right place. We'll onboard you. You pay absolutely nothing to place your products on the website. Okay? Mm -hmm. And once you make a sale, then we'll charge you a small, small commission and that's it. And we're giving you visibility to the entire internet space. Today, we're getting close to 2 million visitors that are coming on our website every month. Oh. Yeah, and if you look at our statistics, we're in the top 15 most visited websites in all of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a business where we are seeing a lot of uptake and I think having that first mover advantage has really helped us out. Fantastic. And looking at uh, the Kenyan market still, we have pockets of um, the consumers who are not really into online shopping, yes. perhaps um, informed by the fears around, is it safe? Will I be conned? And also just the whole aspect of the delivery process. Just share with us how you, how you we plan to address this. Sure. Um, so with the conning factor, what we do is uh, we allow our customers to pay on delivery, which means they don't take any risk. Once they get it, they like it, they pay for it. And um, in order to, again, uh, you know, get rid of some of their fears, what we also do is have a very flexible return policy, where if you actually ordered something, you're not quite sure about your size, what we recommend is order three sizes. Okay, and that way, what we have is our writers will wait for you while you try on your products, and then you only keep the ones you like and you return the rest of them. And if you don't like the product, whatever it is, you can give us a call and within seven days we'll come pick it up from you, from your place and bring it back. Mm -hmm. So the risk of scams and conning is it's very limited just because you're not paying anything right until you actually get the physical item and until you like it. And um, you know, we have a huge uh, fan base, we have a big following on Facebook, so you can follow us and you can see all the comments and all the different campaigns that we're having. So mm -hmm. we're trying to, trying to reduce that. To the second part of your question, which is there are some pockets um, that are maybe not accessing 
affecting online shopping. Sure. One is because of scams, and the second one is also because of internet access. Mm. Right. So there are some individuals that don't have access to internet. So what we're doing here, we're utilizing a B to B to C model. Okay, which is we're selling to a business mm. that sells to a consumer. Sure. So we're going into smaller towns, towns where there's kiosks. They don't really have a huge assortment, mm -hmm. but they have a little shop. And what we tell them, we teach the shop owners of what is Jumia, and then we teach them how to place an order online. So that way, as a consumer, if you go in, mm -hmm. they get to retain the client by placing an order on Jumia, and then they'll will come and deliver it to this business owner who will then deliver it to their customer. So we're penetrating the market in that sense as well. Quite interesting. Of course, there's the element that um, we can have things that are stolen actually being sold online. So how do we safeguard against this? Yes. So we have a very, very uh, strict quality check process. Okay, so all our all our suppliers that come on board have to go through a proper background check and then all the products that are there have to go through a proper background check. Okay. okay. And if we realize that there is something that there's an error and we miss something, mm -hmm. we take the guarantee. So we will then make you whole as a consumer. So you mm -hmm. don't take any risk because we guarantee that everything, you know, is genuine on the website. Okay, interesting there. And finally, what's the outlook like? Are you planning to to actually upscale your investment in Kenya? Yes. And what should we expect as you wind up? Sure. So um, Jumia, currently we have hubs in Nairobi and uh, Mombasa as well as Nakuru. And just this month, actually starting next week, we will also have a hub in Kisumu, Eldorat, and then all the outskirts around, around Nairobi. And we're partnering with different logistics companies as well to have um, pickup stations so you can basically go and pick up your products if you don't want to deliver it to you all along, all across Kenya. So the goal is really to continue to ramp up in the online space today. We are the number one online retailer, but the goal is really to become the number one retailer whether it's online or offline for, for Kenya. Uh -huh. Nice, nice to you. have you. Thank you for having me. And I uh, do hope to have you in future as well. And we'll be keeping an eye because the online space is becoming quite interesting. We have other players like OLX who are also playing in this space. Well.